Let's see how we can configure webhooks in Sailor. Webhooks allow us to react to events that happen across our e-commerce application. We can, for example, subscribe and listen to order creation events so that we can track in an external system how many or how often things are being purchased through our store. Webhooks can be configured in Sailor dashboard and you don't need to write a single line of code. Everything can be set up using our configuration wizard. In uh, Sailor, webhooks are grouped within a Sailor app. This way it's more flexible and we can control things like permissions per each such group of webhooks. So let's go ahead and create our first webhook. We will start by creating a Sailor app and let's grant this app full access to the store and let's call it demo. Now on the app page, we can see the tokens that we can use to interact with the Sailor instance or we can define the webhooks. So let's create a webhook. Let's call it just webhook. Next, you need to define a URL to send the event payload to. So in our case, we will be using this website called webhook site, and I will copy that URL and paste it here. And then we need to select events that we are interested in. For the purpose of this video, I will go with the updated event for the product. So let's just select that. And finally, probably the most interesting part is to define the shape of the event payload. The idea here is to give users a possibility to define only the fields they need. In Sailor, we use GraphQL for that, specifically the subscription query. I have an example here, it's pretty empty, and I can hover over the type. And then with the command or alt, I can click and I will see what's available in that type. So I can see that I can ask for product. So as I type, it will also suggest things. And let's say I want to have the name of the updated product, the description, and maybe uh, the ID. You have this dry run button, so you can see what actually will be sent to you, to your webhook, to your webhook URL. So I can run it, and I can say that I will be triggering product uh, on, let's say, this Lagoon Chance uh, product, and let's run it. And here it is, the, the payload I will be receiving, but that's just a dry run. The very last thing is to be sure that we have the required permission. As I write this query, I will be automatically notified which permissions I need for the app that contains this webhook. So let's save it. So we did the dry run, but let's go ahead and do the actual run. So I have this webhook in the defined, it's active. And now if I go to products and I change a product, let's say this polo shirt and I save, the event will be triggered. And now in the webhook site, I received a webhook uh, payload and we have the payload with the fields we've defined. So ID, name and description.